So now let me introduce the second part, survey analysis. Before that, let me introduce some basic skills of SPSS modeler. First is place a node. There are two methods to place a node. First, you can drag and drop the node to place a node. Just drag the node and drop it. The second way is double click it to drop a node. So these are the two ways. And the next part is how to edit, copy and delete a node. You can easily right click it to connect or cut or delete it. And how to connect the two nodes. Let me delete the node first. So first you need to place a node and then you need to place <coughs> the other node. To connect these two, there are three methods. The first one is right click on the first node and connect, the connect and click the next node. This is the first method. The next method is that first we choose the node and then we double click the node we want to connect. So these two nodes are connected. The third method is that we place, we put the node to the canvas first and we hold the mouse wheel to draw a line between these two nodes. So these two are connected. These are the three ways to connect nodes. And then we are going to introduce the survey analysis by using SPSS modeler. If you are the marketing research class student, you can find a PowerPoint in the survey analysis and you can see the data. There is ID, their preference, their purchase, sweet, sexy, sex, and age. So the first task is to do one-way table. The first task is to calculate the preference of the frequency of preference of Coca Cola and Pepsi Cola. And we will do it using SPS and model allow. So this is the string. Now let's delete this node. First, we need to import the data source. The data source is an Excel file. So we click source and Excel and we double click Excel and then from here we can see the import file now we choose we go to the desktop and click survey Excel survey Excel and then we we'll click open and then we click apply if you want to preview it you can click preview to see the first 10 rows and we can see the sample of the data set there's ID, preference, purchase, suite, sex, and age. So we have the data source. The next part is that we found the survey. Here is Coca Cola and Pepsi Cola. But here is the number. So we need to change the number into the Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola. So we will use the derive node. Now we click field ops and find derive. We drag and drop the derive, connect these two, double click the derive, and then we change the name to preference2. And then we use nominal here. And then we set a few to Coca Cola, Coca Cola. And if this condition is true, so we click this calculator icon and we select preference equal to 1. Click check and OK. <clears throat> if it is Pepsi Cola, Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, and if this condition is true, that is preference equal to 2. So preference equal to 2. Click check and then OK. So we will have this condition to get a new column. 
and after finish we click apply and click preview you can see that compared to the previous data set there's one more column which is preference 2 so you have Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola when the pref there is 2 it is Pepsi Cola 1 is Coca Cola so we click OK and now we need to calculate the preference here we use the aggregate icon we click record ops and find aggregate we connect the preference to to aggregate we double click the aggregate and then now we need to use key fields which is preference 2 to calculate the frequency as by default it have have already take include record count in the field the record count so we just click apply and then click preview now you can see the Pepsi Cola is 16 the frequency Coca Cola is 24 so we have the result and then this is the first example of the uh, preference uh, preference frequency and the next part is the summary statistics we need to calculate the summary statistics of age so it's very easy we just simply use the aggregate function we connect the survey to aggregate double click it how to aggregate the age we use the age fields here and click age now we need to have the data which is mean minimum maximum standard deviation and count as this count is the same as the one in the bottom so we will not take the bottom one click apply and click preview and you can see here the numbers should be the same as the one in the in your PowerPoint so this is the result and the next task is to do a cross tabulation of preference and purchase as purchase here is not and yes but from the table it is number we need to change it to the to the yes and no so here we also use the derive which is the same as preference we connect this two and click derive here we use purchase two and we also use nominal and set the value to do purchase if this condition purchase equals to one and not purchase now purchase equal to 2 click check and OK so you can click apply and then preview the result you can see also a new column is added which is purchase not purchase we click OK and then how to see the aggregate result we just use the aggregate again we connect the purchase to to aggregate we double click the aggregate and then because we need to have a cross tabulation so in the key fields we use the preference and also purchase now because the record counts is taken so we just click apply and then preview the result and you can see the cross tabulation of the guy who preference is Pepsi Cola and also pur purchase Coca Cola is only two person so these are the result and next task is to do a hypothesis test the preference and purchase are independent so we need to calculate the p-value and chi-square value now we will use the modeling part click modeling 
and find CHAID, construct a tree model. So we drop it and then we connect the purchase to, to this one. So we double click it. And now we need to tell the computer what are our targets and predictors. So we click use custom here. And for the targets, we use preference two. And for the predictors, we use purchase two. These are the same, and you can change which one is the targets, which one is the predictors. The results are the same. So we click apply and then run. After a few seconds, you will have the result. Double click it. And then click view. Viewer. You can see the result that is the p value equals 0, chi square is 13 point something, and then the degree of freedom is 1. So this result should be the same as the one in your PowerPoint, which p value equals almost 0 and chi square is 13. And then there are other there are also other samples. You can use this method to do other things. So, so these are all about the as the survey analysis. Thank you.